Hey everybody, Tony D here with, uh, here we go, uh, a quick Piney podcast about my new book, The Pineys, book seven. The Paradox Piney is out, and I wanted to tell you a little bit more about it. I uh, talked about it a little bit on the Lotus Eaters uh, in my video comment, but you only get 30 seconds in the comment, so this gives me a chance to relax and, and have a time, have, have a little time here. Um, of course, the Piney po Podcast covers all things South Jersey. Nothing really going on in South Jersey these days. Uh, usual stuff. Uh, the, 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 the beer virus continues to be a thing. Um, there's an article for pumpkin picking I almost read, but, you know, if you want to go pick your own pumpkins, it's, uh, there's a big list on the internet somewhere. And, uh, you know, usual stuff. Uh, some minor crimes and things going on, but the Pineys dropping is my big news. Uh, this is book seven. It was supposed to come out in July. I know. Uh, we had some issues. I, I take full responsibility. Don't blame anybody else but me. Uh, we got jammed up. It happens. I, I would like to get another book out in October. I'm not sure that's going to be possible, but we're working on it. Um, but uh, to talk about the Pineys book seven, this one uh, encompasses two legends of the pines, as I said on the Lotus Eaters, two, two stories about the pines. Uh, number one is the story of um, uh, U-boats off the coast of New Jersey. Now, this has been a thing for a while. Um, the Lotus Eaters were quite surprised when I mentioned that. Uh, they, they think it's, they, they seem to imply that they had never heard of it and assumed it was a legend. Um, but I believe there is some evidence. I don't know if there's any proof. I don't think they ever caught anybody, but U-boats um, apparently were off the coast of New Jersey. And just like the days of pirates, um, they would sometimes resupply in the middle of the night. At the very least, South Jersey Pineys were paranoid about it and formed patrols. Uh, there were rumors about it, so they formed patrols to keep an eye on the pines to make sure none of the bad guys from Germany came onto the shore. So um, that's one of the stories. Um, you might notice the cover there. You've got uh, the other legend that uh, the, the book talks about, and that's Joseph Bonaparte. Joseph Bonaparte, uh, brother of Napoleon, older brother, uh, moved to New Jersey during the early 1800s, and he lived in Bordentown. Uh, and legend has it he shot a uh, cannonball through the chest of the Jersey Devil. So that story is in here too. So you can see the two different time periods. Why so many time periods? Well, it's called the Paradox Piney. And it's not time travel, but there is some time stuff in this. So um, the deal is the Pineys go up against a devil that can only be killed. The only way to actually kill it is to kill it in five different time periods. So, through, I don't want to give too much away, through various machinations, the Pineys communicate via different timelines and um, uh, try to accomplish that, I'll say. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, but Joseph Bonaparte is in it, and uh, he has uh, a few chapters. Uh, the bad guys from Germany are in it, and they have... Uh, uh, they go up against some ancestors of the current Pineys, I'll say. Um, and so we introduce some more relatives of Hemingway uh, from that time period, uh, along with his grandfather, fleshing that out, fleshing out that character a little more. And um, uh, we also get to see, as you can see in that TV screen there, uh, a teenage Hemingway, finally which I've alluded to in the other books, when Hemingway was 16, he killed a massive devil uh, by himself using his bat, uh, which he calls Bashy, and uh, he hasn't shut up about it since. And it was, it's, it was the event that sort of turned things around for him, and he became, uh, at that point, the world's greatest hunter. They realized they couldn't, they realized they couldn't hold back Hemingway anymore, and at that point he got a gun, and then the rest is history. So, uh, we, but we get to see a glimpse of the 80s, uh, Hemingway in the 80s, kind of at his peak there, <clears throat> uh, along with Darla, along with his dog, 
which I've mentioned in the books before, and um, along with a young version of another character who I don't think you've seen before in this uh, young incarnation, so I won't give it away. Um, this is a real favorite of mine because it involves, again, not time travel, but time stuff, which I think is fascinating to play around with. And uh, so I'm really happy with the story. I'm, I, I've been ha very happy with how uh, all the stories are coming out. I'm currently working on book nine, uh, most of the way done. I'm about, I think I'm about 60 pages in. And that's the first draft. Normally my drafts stop at 60 pages, the first draft, and then I have to go back and add 20 pages. But this one, uh, I'm probably not going to stop until 65, 70, and then I won't have that much to go back and add. So I'm pretty happy with the, the way things are going with the current book as well that I'm writing. Book 8 is done. Now I'm going to try to get the cover done. If I can get the cover done before October, I might put it out. But I might just save it for next year. I know. I didn't want to, but it's it's practically October now, so this is really more the October book. And I don't want to short short change this book in terms of promotion. I can't even get copies of it until uh, mid-October anyway. So, um, But again, I'm real happy with it. You can order it right now. You'll get it too around the time I will, mid-October. Um, Ebook trade paperback Kindle Unlimited limited is free. So far, I'm still able to stick with $7.99 cover price, uh, $2.99 for the ebook, and um, you know if you have Kindle Unlimited, go nuts because that's fun. And I I still get paid by the way. I I think I made that clear in a few videos, but just to reiterate, I do get paid. It's like a per page thing. It's some sort of Kindle fun fund that I don't quite understand. I don't know, we get paid by page, so maybe it's like two pennies one day, one pen, half a penny another day, I don't know. As long as I'm getting paid, I'm cool with it. Um, so, I mean, it's a bit of a discount, but, you know, I'm willing to give that discount in order to get more people to read the books. And I think, um, now, some of you might ask, oh, do I have to read the other books to know this one? No, um... But this one, I would read the other books only because it'll be more fun for you that way because it does it does have some payoffs that you won't totally get until you read the other books. So, um, but I mean, it does stand alone. I write all my books to stand alone, but you know, this is a series. So it is good to read the earlier stuff so it all kind of jibes and you get it in your head. I'm, and I'm really just loving the cover. It was totally worth the wait. I mean... This is exactly what I wanted, um, and this is all from events in the book. Um, <laughs> the expression on Joseph Bonaparte's face is hilarious. <laughs> and, um, you know, if uh, if and when we do this as a TV show, these, of course, will be actors who will have been playing multiple roles because they're they're all relatives, and even through different times, you know, they'll be their ancestors. Um, so there's a lot of great stuff in this. I, I, I'm really happy the way it came out. Uh, so I hope you'll check it out. Uh, Comedy Horror in South Jersey. The Pineys, book seven, now available. And that's it for me, Tony D. Make sure you check us out on Bit Shoot and Rumble. Me and little Joan, we got a news blast and a Hollywell hot take today. And I'll see you tomorrow.